Okay, let's continue. As you ring, ring, Sally finally picks up. Yes, I'm listening. Is hello. that... That's you. Oh, hello. I haven't talked to you in a while, ever since that trial thing. I hear you've been having fun. How's the we party? We have lots of fun over here. Uh, the, we have a wandering pet just trying to find its way home. Have you seen any of those? Um, I, I think someone saw one of your thin blood. Oh, yes, yes. He's at the bar. He's drugged out. We're gonna make sure one of the ghouls drags him to the mansion and gets him inside before the sun comes up. Don't no, worry. Not a thin blood. Um, uh, he's he's a new guy. Came here just yesterday. A n a new guy, you say? Yes, yes. He's all high and mighty and has this stupid noble bearing about him and all that bull crap. Normal La Sombra. A La Sombra. Mm hmm. Ah. Uh... Get me a mirror, someone! <laughs> no! 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 Get me a mirror first. They could use a camera as well. No. Cameras, doesn't matter. Digital cameras actually work, I think. I don't think so. I, I'd love it if that was the case. Lore-wise, there was crap about it being mildly blurry, like it being a bad image yeah. on cameras, but them showing La Sombra, actually. You know, like hotel security and the like. Yeah. Well, I'll be damned. Huh. Okay, so we found a Sabbat. Well, not a Sabbat. What am I talking about? A Camarilla spy that appears to be a La Sombra. How strange. Uh, what makes you think it's a Camarilla spy and not the guy I'm looking for? Because it was trying to get into our haven with a lot of yapping. Like a Ventru would. We just assumed it was a Ventru. Clearly they're getting clever about their infiltration. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> kudos to them! The, our La Sombra really love killing these anti-tribute fucks. They can't have that many of them on hand. You know, I thought he was a decently smart guy. Uh, describe this La Sombra Camarilla spy to me. Maybe... Uh, uh, maybe it's him? Maybe it's not? He's dressed in a really cheap and ratty suit. And... I'm like... Well, actually, it kind of looks like the stuff Alexander was wearing. It doesn't really it's, fit all that well. It's probably him. Oh. He's an idiot. You hear all this as you are staked at her feet, by the way. <laughs> Daniel. I would Forgive apologize him. He knows not what he does. the territory, but... No! No, get away from him, please. No! Fuck off! I let me resolve this. Do you need him? Uh, kinda. Apparently, he was supposed to be part of this pack and everything. Ah, oh, shit. So he'll be missed. All right. Well, I can't say that I'm pleased by this. You've really disappointed well, if it me. Helps, he did manage to kill a. Uh... Hunter cell that was starting to be developed in the town. He is useful. What? Yeah, there was a small hunter cell. Why? I decided to try and do some pot shots nearby. We tracked it down and he killed all of them. You didn't tell us that you knew about hunters coming here, being interested in it. How the. What the fuck is wrong with you? It was a new hunter cell. It just barely got started. So they sent some trainees to scout the place out. Do you no, know how... They weren't connected to any other hunters. I would have told you about that. You sure? Yes. Are you sure you would have told us? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I see. As always... You inspire so much confidence! I know, I know. 
great confidence. You inspire much as well. You're doing great at taking over the city. Yes, thank you. Click. Mm -hmm. Hmm. She leans over you, pulls back your eyelids. Hmm. Huh. You know... What was it for Malleable Visage? Or, sorry, Fleshcraft. Uh, whichever one you want, but Malleable Visage is a little easier, but I think it's supposed to be only for the one person. But, hey. Uh, I think it was what? Dex Medicine at 9 to improve someone's appearance or attempt to. Yeah. As for improving appearance, though, it was much easier for just changing your... You spend a blood point per point stuff. above the original starting appearance, by the way. And it improves by one for each... each <laughs> success. Okay, yep. she says, listen, I'm gonna do you a favor. Now, I haven't done this all that lot. This might hurt a little bit. Inside, you're screaming in agony as she starts rearranging your face. <laughs> no, I can't see. Look in the mirror. mirror. Uh, she calls over her priestess, Tracy. Look, uh, without, <laughs> look, look. Does what does, does this look quite right? You, you see, Tracy just go <laughs> mildly green, which is impressive for a vampire on really low humanity. I turn away, try to suppress a wretch. No. Yeah. No. Did you, did you I increase my stats or not? Nothing. Well, maybe like this. <laughs> Continues rearranging, digging into your cheekbones, pulling them apart and rearranging them. <laughs> no, 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 no. His teeth are showing this, so I can't do that. No, well, but no. Mm, maybe. All right. I guess this works. You now have an appearance of three. <laughs> if I knew it, I'd thank her. Also. Um, what would he roll to resist what is essentially torture in his trapped state? Oh, definitely, uh, it'd probably be willpower or the other thing. There is rolls on torture, so I could go look it up. Is willpower, like willpower or courage? Uh, give me a willpower roll. Sure, difficulty. Uh, let's go with eight. Nope. Okay. Through this agony, you lose uh, three temporary willpower points. That's true. If you yeah, had gotten three the successes... Someone being able to dominate me is pretty low. <laughs> Sally leans over and slowly pulls out a stake. Waves at you. Hi. I think this Hello. worked out fine. Really okay, nice so work. stamina plus three or willpower, whichever is higher. Mm -hmm. Stamina plus three would be seven, so I'd be rolling that with seven dice. So, ah, fine, re-roll. Okay, you lose two temporary willpower points. Still better than uh, it was earlier. Yep. She holds up a mirror. You can't really recognize yourself. Your face has been completely rearranged. I wouldn't be able to see anything in the first place. She looks at the mirror, looks at you. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, is anyone on camera? Cell phone? Anything? No? Oh. Oh, wait, there's camera in this one. Um. Uh, she points it at you. Um, is this how you do it? The phone cracks in her hands. She looks at it in shock. Um, uh... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't as planned. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be fine. You look great. Honest. But I'm sorry about the intrusion into your territory. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I always love it when people come to this. I get to play. Um, speaking of which, we were gonna eat some people. No one specific. 
kind of you. Um, uh, Tracy, if you would. Tracy locks eyes with you and says, uh, You are gonna embrace a mortal and bring him to us tonight. Does it work? What? Uh, no, it bounces off, actually, given generation difference, but she doesn't know that. Um, sure. What kind? Well, apparently the La Sombra kind. I mean, what do you want any specific mortals? Uh, the size, weight, something? I'll actually bring us three or four. Bulk. Bulk is good, and muscle. Gonna eat some, gonna turn some into things, it's gonna be great. Go, shoot, go, do, 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 do. Switch, switch. <laughs> um, what? Just. Fuck you, just, just go. Out of here, you fool. But yes, I, I will bring two mortals here then. Well, Kindred at that point. Sally slowly shakes her head and holds up four fingers and nods slowly. <laughs> Okay, I agree. And then you can consider yourself forgiven for your transgression. For I, uh, a knight, a true knight keeps all his promises after all. Yes, you are us four mortals turned by you. Deliver them on your honor. Yes, I agree. <laughs> How do you proceed? I proceed. Uh, to g uh, to find a bar. All right. And start trying to roll. Uh, start trying to uh, get uh, get people to you know. Uh, uh, trying to get uh, hook up with someone essentially. Okay. <laughs> Give me a roll. What would that be? Now, uh, whatever you think is appropriate for seduction. That's appearance subterfuge, isn't it? Or appearance expression would work sure, as well. appearance expression. Let's do it. Appearance it? etiquette, even. Uh, difficulty, this time of night. People are pretty desperate. Make it a five. <laughs> and drunk. Drunk, too. Appearance... Uh, etiquette this time, sure. Etiquette, okay. I have the same dice for that. <laughs> uh, okay. You managed to attach yourself to a group of men in a gay bar who apparently know each other very, very well and they invite you to come along. <laughs> You may refill your blood pool to full, by the way. Yes, I will. <laughs> uh, can I... Uh. Well, full minus four, because you're going to be turning four of them, right? Well, I'd be... Uh, uh, I'd be uh, draining... Uh, I have, like... Yeah, sure, full minus four. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. You can just set it to minus one from full. Sure. I wait like half an hour. Oh no, you go to sleep after um, safeguarding their um, apartment. You stay in the city where, where they were sure. staying. Satan, after the call, you wait and wait. They do not call back and... Uh, Daniel still has not called or returned. Although, Andrew apparently has unfrozen, so there's that. He's busy tinkering with something. Huh, interesting. By the way, from the roll, did I get an idea of when they, she was coming? Uh, he, she, it. For the uh, spark, right? Mm -hmm. Um. 
uh, soon trademark but not right now as in it wasn't a oh shit oh shit oh shit she's here it was a yeah on route get ready on route all right well if that's the case hey what are you guys doing bombs bombs yeah what kind The boom one? Yeah, that. I, I, I mind the entrance, the back one in the wall. Here's the remote. Have, do you want to hold it? Or should I? Ooh. I don't know. You did so much work. I think you deserve it. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> she just grins at you. Ah, can, we, can, we, can we get more? Ah. Uh, I'm pretty sure the car's out of gasoline. Oh. I can see if I can make with something else. <laughs> Sounds great. We need we need to we need to put it in the front too, or at least near it. We will we'll have visitors soon. He j uh, he just asked. By the way, in this house there is any silver stuff? You know, knives. Yeah. If, if you wouldn't know about werewolves. You don't even know they exist. If vampires exist, they should exist also. It's like common sense. Not really, actually. All right. So uh, Katrina just goes. Wait. Silver doesn't hurt us. Why would it? Well, if you have nails, but I think that silverware would be more fun, no? But but the cross it burned me. It did. Oh, yeah, oh, that that was the. Uh, that <laughs> was probably because the one guy you know had true faith. It is an awesome thing that people can sometimes develop, even vampires. Huh? Yes. I'm sorry, Dad. You're not making any sense again. <laughs> um, 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 uh, it, it, you know what? I, I, I can, I can, I can do this. I can do this to see how, how much, how much there is to know. Things to know. People to be. Uh, what's the role for knowing about true faith? This definitely seems like, you know, myths and, you know, stuff. This seems to fit into my thing very well, is what I'm saying. Um, with five of a cult, it would be at the very most seven, probably a six roll. So you can roll at six. Well, you, you heard that this is a thing that sometimes happens. Yeah, it it's a, it, it happens sometimes. It's a thing. Some hunters have it. Some other people sometimes. Great. Don't too many specifics about it. Great. Oh, that, that's great. That's just wonderful. Go, go look into the library if you're really curious about it. That place is creepy. I don't like it very much. It's creepy. There is a bag of the uh, dirt on the library. I like got a jar of dirt. Not two jars of dirt. Ooh, 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 can you use fertilizer to make explosives? I think you can. Although it depends on fertilizer, right? Because out of character, my real life knowledge really wants to come to the fore. <laughs> well, Andrew would know, so you can tell him. All right. So, fertilizer by itself, definitely not. But certain types of fertilizer, uh, mixed with, you know, certain things, you can definitely do it. Especially if you got some kind of compressed device. Usually cans. Well, the fertilizer in there is, you know, the stuff they dig up from st uh, swamps. I don't know what it's called in English. Me and Jack Lord have been, uh, well, we talked about it before the game. Bacon was here, he heard. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. totally in Swedish, but... 
yeah. Swedish. Wait, you speak Swedish? Isn't most of Finland like uh, Finnish? Pete, mm. I think it is. Pete, yes, yes, that's the word. Yes, uh, yes, most of Finland does indeed speak Finnish. Uh, along the coast, most people do. A lot of people do, however, speak Swedish. So technically, everyone's supposed to know the Swedish in Finland, also. So you're essentially a redneck. Te in all technicality, I am among uh, I am among the uh, high. I'm not actually a redneck. That sounded so very convincing, Jackalor. <laughs> We're all impressed. I'm convinced now that you are not in fact a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. I live in southern Finland, and there's less rednecks around here. Okay, so important so, question. When a body dies, all the bowel movement gets released, right? So there's a yes. lot of stink. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Not only that, uh, as time goes by, decomposition will start kicking in. And it will start stinking up a storm. Okay. Good. This happens generally within about a week, and the longer it goes for a couple months, the worse it gets. Good, good. Because a five-point flaw should get you fucked, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it, Jack of War? Nothing. <laughs> like waking up with the police hammering on your door in a bed full of dead bodies. Oh, God. <laughs> Yes, I think that flaws well. <laughs> Kudos, though, for going along with it and role playing it out. That was good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, that's gonna attract a lot of attention. <laughs> first things first. Intelligence is cold. Do I know what the fuck is going on? Let's um, let's figure out the explosive shit, and then we're gonna we're gonna role play out how fuck Jack Lore is. <laughs> and keep in mind, you still have a word you will need to keep to the guys because you owe them recently turned vampires. At least according to your own sense of honor, right? Yes, it's just I can't fulfill. I uh, physically cannot fulfill it. Find a way, <laughs> or do the best next next best thing. I'll ask Mavkavian. <laughs> <laughs> they won't know the difference. Wait, why does this salt taste like crazy? Oh my god, it's a Mavkavian! Save me! I'll totally ask him. I'll ask him to help me with this because oh, that is a legitimate thing that can happen if you actually eat Malkavians. It's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That works great. So, explosives. You want me mm -hmm. to roll to see if he knows how to use a fertilizer as explosive? I don't think Pete is the kind that you can actually use. No, Pete, not, no. A lot of the more com uh, very commercial stylized uh, ones will have, you know, various chemicals mixed in to try and make it better. Yeah, uh, over here in... Um, the most important ingredient, I think, was baking soda it needed to be mixed with it as well. Yeah. Then you need to get a form of acid with it. That's really about all you need, though. And then put it into a container. Right. You're the scared. Is, that's not the type of explosive you're probably talking about most of the time. The type that makes things go boom? Uh, well, most people tend to think of, you know, uh, an explosive as needing something to set it off. Uh, no, this is just a chemical reaction causing a boom. Okay. It's not as easy to, you know, set up. For timing, at least. Okay, excellent. Katrina, after a while, wanders off. Uh, also, Andrew, remember this at all times. If it can become very, very small particles in the air in a very fast time period and then be lit up, it will go on fire very well. And boom. So, how about... Arms 101. How about using some 
a vapor of gasoline to spray on people and then throw matches. You're terrible at this. I know. Look, just go into a random restaurant, bust into their kitchen, grab a bag of flour... Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. He's gonna actually do it, you dumb fuck! Don't tell him to break into places! Then, th gen then cut open the bag of flour, flop it everywhere so there's flour everywhere in the air, turn on the stove. Great things will happen, I tell you. I, I just don't put the gas rolls and let the gas flow into place. Because most stoves actually come with security measures against that. I just... Yeah, they have. You fool. <laughs> Alright. So Andrew is uh, busy making improvised explosives. Yes. Or trying to. Trying to. Mostly he... This night he will have made a start of getting an inventory of the garage, the kitchen and other obvious places for, you know, ingredients. And just categorize them, sort through what could and could not be useful, I think. What do, Satan? Walk off, head upstairs. What do you want, Andrew? What do you want, Andrew? Um, that's a hard question. I want to shoot things and explode things. That's fun. That's what you can do. What do you want? <laughs> Keep in mind that with your nature, you are just, in a lot of ways, a follower. Right? You follow other people's lead. Well, I kinda miss the times when I was on Afghanistan. Following orders from the general. Killing people. Doing a, being a soldier. It was good times. I'm and not sure you can play this character. <laughs> Yeah, he's the kind of soldier, it seems, that would laugh as flamethrowering things from above in a chopper. Yeah. Based on how you've uh, done it so far. But good luck. Have fun. Yeah, he's also not really, you know, followed any orders, and in fact, gone against a superior quite a few times now. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Bacon's just traumatized from Calvin's game still where someone stole his axe. <laughs> That's where it started. And then I had Romina do it to him again. <laughs> oh, those were good times. Oh, good luck. Have fun. Uh, did the barrels come in yet? Um, as you walk out front, you see one of the barrels is empty and uh, Katrina is naked, drenched in blood and slowly climbing into the second one. What's her appearance again? What is her appearance? <laughs> Crap. Give me her sheet, you stupid game. Oh, it's a three. So not bad looking. Go! <laughs> um, Dad? <laughs> You're doing a great job, honey. <laughs> <laughs> she goes under, a couple of bubbles come up, then the blood slowly starts draining and bubbling up as, you know, steam is generated once again. I suppose I'll need to go out and hunt just a little bit. I'll be back later. Officer Kate. Okay. Uh, your hunting difficulty is six at here, I believe we agree, down from nine. So, mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and make a roll. I do have some massive uh, advantages at this point, though. Uh, obfuscate will lower your difficulty by further two, I think. Is that what we agreed on? 
I think that's how you actually did say that Oswald Gate would affect the hunting role. Yeah, so consider it a further debuff on difficulty. Yeah. I... Obviously, this would be a some sort of a stealth ambush type hunt. Mm -hmm. Stealthing around, stealthing around. You know, if you mutter that while you hunt, then your bonus does go away. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? You just walk down the street and you hear someone behind you stealthing around, stealthing around, on the hunt, gonna bite a bitch. Wait, what? <laughs> you know what? Uh, if you want, I, I could have certainly gone up behind whoever I was hunting and went stealthing around. Still thing around, still thing around, still thing around. <laughs> Jackalot, in your game you so have to let me have a say in what way my character's nervous thing shows up. And if it's fun, let me do that another one. Only then overrule me. You know my insanity for the nervousness yeah, thing. Allowing you to pick your insanity. No, I mean in terms of picking up how it manifests, like submitting a uh, way it could show up in a given situation. I'm sure. Let me be creative with it. Okay. The prince yells at you in <laughs> spitting anger. I just stare off into space. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna so make some NPC bust a vein. It's gonna be great. <laughs> uh, so I went and made the roll for, you know, not going insane. I didn't go insane. Yay! Alright. Let me just look at Katrina's sheet and remove one point of aggravated from it. Because she managed not to take further damage. Yeah. Or did we say it would take two nights for the Thin Bloods? It, I think we did say it would uh, it would take two nights. Okay, in that case, yes, it does. It's gonna take her another night to do that. She has spent five blood on the aggravated. Because it does specifically say it takes double for all mm. of it to spend the blood. Okay, as you come back, wait daylight swiftly approaching. Daniel still isn't back. Fancy that. Eh, we'll find out tomorrow. Okay. Let's go to the random map, as this might involve. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's get to this part. The part I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> I'm gonna mute myself and uh, give me get some Oreos out. Okay, let's see. Do I have a thing here that's appropriate? Let's see if we have a house of some kind that works. No, those are stupid tokens. I don't care about those. You suck, game. No, that's far too tiny. Dude, the fuck? Okay, fuck it. Just assume that the table there is the bed. In the... thing. Where? Here. I can't see. Dude! Like, we are on the map. Currently. Top left. Don't, I need to have an apartment, like a decent apartment tile here. Like a bedroom. Ooh, here's a thing. Yeah, let's say that they had a house. Sec. Go to the open space to the right. Crap, that's the GM la layer. Undo! Undo! Fuck, that's the GM layer as well! Crap! Fuck. There we go. A house! A house for chaos! Wait, did I place you on the GM layer as well? No, I'm still in the house right now. There you go. It's a big ass bed. Yay. Let me uh, place all the things. That does not look like a corpse. That looks like a very gay schlockta. <laughs> the 
Then okay, you know, so now you're being a bigot. Dude, I had the nuns and virtually every random chick you met on the street in Springfield be a schlachta. It you're isn't you're being... Making, you're calling them... Uh, you're making gay people schlachta. That's like, certainly be got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yourself. I'm an, I hate everyone equally. <laughs> so, yes, you are a bigot. Fuck you. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, yeah, continuing on. It occurs to me that I have perhaps been too gentle in allowing him to survive. Uh, the first thing that you sense as you awaken is the smell. Ugh. This was not planned. Do they seem to be awake? Nope. There's a few flies buzzing around. It stinks to high heaven. What can I roll to attempt to find out if they're alive or dead? Perception? Perception, medicine. I don't have medicine. Actually, no, Jackalore. The stink would have started a lot sooner, wouldn't it? Give me a luck dice. Within... Two or three hours, right? The At shit most. would have actually come out in two or three hours. Decomposition would have come later and be even worse. Yeah, Jackalore, give me a luck die. As this would be a relatively upscale neighborhood slash place. Nope. Nope. Uh, roll your perception to awaken during the day. Uh, can I even... Okay. You can. Pats can. Difficulty 8, right? Right. Okay. You hear knocking on the door. Roll to stay awake. You can't spend willpower on these rolls. Uh, humanity, that's what? Pa humanity or equivalent path rating. Yes, so 5 at 8. Do you spend willpower? Yes or no? No. Uh, I too <laughs> like to live... That's not a botch. I too like to live dangerously, Jackalore. It's not a botch. I know. <clears throat> okay, as you wake up next evening, <laughs> you hear uh, faint voices drift into a focus, as you also sense the smell. Well, this is going to be a lot of, this is going to be uh, tougher than I thought. You hear someone saying, jeez, what a fucking hate crime, five of them. What is this? What the fuck is going on here? I remain inert. Mother of God, that's horrible. Damn. That's Bob, I knew him, he was a good guy. Shit. Someone else goes, yeah, shit is right, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> I'm guessing one of the cops are saying, inappropriate, dude. No. <laughs> you hear the f a faint thud, almost as if someone's been smacked. Shut your bitch mouth. <laughs> also, is it dark in here? As in shadows. Um, your eyes are still closed, would you like to open them? Wouldn't they be open as a vampire? Sleep. No, not necessarily, no. Oh. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Buffing dexterity all of a sudden. Okay. You can buff as high as you want to just tell me how high you are buffing. Uh, buffing dexterity to 6 and stamina to 6. Which is 7 points. Okay. You hear someone say, "Listen, guys, we can get out of here in a moment. The uh, the FBI are uh, gonna be here soon." So, what's it to create a cloud of darkness? Manipulation, occult at seven. <laughs> Just gonna go for it, eh? Yes. 
you evil cunt. You have a surprise round. You may uh, roll for darkness if you so wish. Yes, I am. Okay. Give me a roll. And yes, I'm going to keep it in, uh, uh, keep it inside the apartment. Even if uh, it would roll a bit larger than normal. Yes, it's not large enough. Uh, it doesn't go outside. We're going to say that this is a house because, well, clearly this is a house style set. Uh, yeah, sure, but... But it doesn't actually go anywhere outside. The entire building, though, is flooded with darkness, and people can faintly see through the windows, if they so choose. Mm. Let me pull up the members of the Glorious Clan Cop. <laughs> and uh, make some courage rolls. They have enough stamina to, uh, to not uh, uh, to not be, you know. I'm gonna say that in this case, at least a couple of them do. Because not everyone is gonna be a fat, lazy, very, very uh, well-fed cop. I only rolled a twelve on the initiative. Oh well, it's average. Okay. Several of the cops just uh, start choking and one of them runs away. I'm gonna mark the ones that are choking. So one of them runs. And the two, two are looking around going, what the fuck is going on? They won't see anything to be exact. Yes. Also, should you roll the guy's athletics, to, uh, athletics, dexterity athletics, to see if he doesn't follow her hmm. in the pitch black darkness? That's a fair point, I suppose. Because we did roll that before. No, he's good. Okay. Well, I'm running after the cop over the cop over here. I would have thought the cops would have brought. And going, uh, go, I'm black. running after him and going. Uh, and go, uh, going uh, attacking him. The cloud of darkness puts out artificial lights. Yes. Oh, I forgot. I didn't realize he used that. And that doesn't. Yeah. Oh yes, that was his surprise round. He decided to be smart about this. Which part were we talking about again? <laughs> so you want to head after that cop? Okay. Yes. He'd notice someone rushing past him. The cop over here with this. I need to make another sheet for more lead cops because these are Springfield cops to be meant to be annoyance is not a real problem. Uh, do I need to roll? Uh, do I need to roll dexterity brawl to uh, plant the kiss? And on the guy running, you would need to do two turns: one to grapple and one to actually bite him. Yeah, dexterity brawl. Yes, you would. You uh, hear someone crashing to the ground behind you as they attempt to nightstick you. <laughs> yeah. So difficult to six for the roll against the guy. For example. Yeah. Sure. Yay. Okay. You may do your strength as automatic damage. Uh, does the successes grant anything for that? Do they? I think they did. I don't remember. I think strength was a... The problem is that it says automatically, right? Which implies that it's a flat thing, right? Sure, I'll do that. That. Well, either way, but we need to come up with one consistent way to rule it anyway. Though, admittedly, that's counting your potence as well, right? Yes. Wow, you're a wimp for someone yes. with that much potence. Okay, this guy is on his face. Yep. You're using, you're using the symbols correctly. This guy is trying to help that guy. That would be proper for grapple. Let's see. 
The net. I guess. Okay. So, next turn. Uh, you start draining this guy, I assume, right? Sure. I'm gonna say that you have... Uh, yeah, you would be able to drain this guy fully while the well you heard the other cops trying to get together and drag their people out of the house. Uh huh. Like drain him how much? Fully. I'll drain I'll drain him for three tur uh, for uh, three turns. Okay. One so turn that's... to help this guy up. Another. To Essentially, that. I'll be draining him uh, for nine points of blood. Okay. And buffing the thing that go uh, uh, to put that go over into strength. Mm. Oh, also, I'll be uh, also I'll be creating tentacles now. Uh, that would happen on the next turn, as the first the cops that were actually choking are pushed out of the door. Okay. You didn't decide to go for the one that was running, and that should have consequences, buddy. Yes, I know. Tentacles. This one is dead. All right. Well, then, what's the difficulty again for tentacles? Seven. Let me roll initiative for the other two cops first. Okay. I'd probably go before the other cop. Yeah. Would you? Yes, I have. I have six in base. Okay. Fair enough. Seven at seven. Okay, all the cops are gonna go outside and try to. Uh, well. There's a tentacle now here. Where? Uh, like here. Okay. And start to grab this cop over here. This is, you know, becoming an impressive screw up. Yes, it is. Okay, give me a roll for whatever the tentacle has in dexterity, given your rating. I think it, uh, yeah, I think it's equal to my optimization, so it's three. All right. Okay, it hits. And that's three plus both as far as damage is concerned. Yes, plus one for the attack, so eight oh. total. Well, that's seven dice I'm supposed to be rolling. Eight, because the tentacles are plus one. So roll well, yet again. Only two points of damage. It's eight total. The tentacles are plus one. Oh. Okay. The tentacle wraps around the uh, cop in a spiral and pulls, digging into his flesh like a serrated blade. He's turned into meat salad. Pieces yeah. fall down the steps in front of the house. As the others just uh, file out. They're not attacking the tentacles? No, they're getting out of the fucking darkness, you dumbass. <laughs> and pulling out their guns and pointing them at the door, of course. Uh, I'm guessing they're using their turns to pull out the guns. Yes, indeed. Uh, move the darkness outside enough to cover them. <laughs> And move here, growing my claws. Uh, no, sure. moving the darkness is a full. Is a it's an action. It's you a mean? full action. It straight up says you can't do anything else if you do that. Oh really? Yes. Ah. Uh, so well. I draw my claws. I attack three of them, and then I run over there and climb to the roof. And that's my first action. And then for my celerity. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm, I'm going here. Uh, there's no windows here, right? Uh, no, there would be probably a window somewhere. Kind of right. Sure, that can... Go behind here in one turn. Sure. And my turn. Okay, you hide inside. I'm dispelling the tentacle. My next turn. Really? Alright. And dispelling the cloud of darkness in the next one. Okay, the cloud of darkness is gone. Are they going to get inside and investigate the place? I think they're calling reinforcements right now. 
And I think they've been doing that for a while. You took a lot of turns. Also, I'm going, uh, there's like a window over here. It's very small, as Can in you... you enlarge it by uh, calling it open? You could try, but it's a load-bearing wall, I figure, so lots of concrete. I mean, uh, still. Uh, could I? You could, given enough time, start at it, yes, but it's going to take a few minutes at least. Mm. Do you want to spend the time doing that? Keeping no. in mind that it might be heard. No, I'm growing my claws. And attempting to... Uh, and attempting... To roll stealth. My current dexterity. Roll perception alertness. Mm. To, uh, to what? Uh, six. Okay. That's one success, right? Yes. Okay. You hear a faint whisper. Oh my god, he's already dead. Shh. Nope. That uh, actually, I just checked V20 does not have the rule for allowing Shroud of Night to move at all. Seriously? I'm pretty sure no, it doesn't. Uh, we think we ruled that it could the same as the tentacles, because those could apparently be repositioned. But either way, don't think we ever... Well, we might have once or twice moved it. Yeah, we did. In Springfield, anyway. No, it used to be that there was an actual rule for it, but they seem to have removed it on the B20 version for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Weird. So, Jackalo, you hear... F you heard faint whispers coming from the front, almost as if people were moving in, slowly and carefully. Also, can I... Like roll dick, st uh, dick stealth or with stealth to you know ambush. Oh, no, it was just hidden in the text. There it is. Uh, yeah, requires complete co concentration, is all it says. Uh, you can r give me a roll of dex stealth to see how well hidden you have managed to make yourself. Okay, that's that's decent. I'm gonna be rolling their stuff. Uh, that would be at six, so that's four successes total. Actually, no. Yeah. Actually, no. You don't have stealth, do you? No. Okay, then that's correct. I need to make more dangerous cops. Fuck me. Wait a moment. On a tie. Why does he have six dice then? Buff. I think Defender wins on a tie. You put, put, I thought you said it was with stealth. I said uh, Dex stealth. He yes, was he asking said. which one he should do. Okay. Yeah, on a tie, Defender wins. What the fuck happened? You hear someone call, Guys, one of the bodies is gone! I'm guessing they'll be heading over there now. <laughs> you can guess. Actually, I'm placing them all in the GM layer because you can't currently see them. Mm-hmm. Uh, at my disciplines. Can I use currently? Faintly, you hear? It's very close. Guys, we're inside of each other. Also, I'm now going to... Create Cloud of Darkness again. <laughs> okay, roll for it. Uh, <laughs> also, the blood point expended for Cloud of Darkness again? Oh, yes, one every time. Same as for Tentacles. Okay. I'll be reducing that by one. I still have my claws. The 8th Gen La Sombra. Look at the damage. Marvel at its power. Ah, uh, smaller now. So, like. Creating it centered over here, since otherwise I'd be have increased difficulty. Okay, so what's the base size of it? Like uh, four tiles? Ten feet per, I think. No, it's like three yards. So about ten feet. 
many tiles? Three by three for the basic ones. So for uh, basic tiles, we, uh, World of Darkness measures by yards. Yes, so three, three. by three, and, and that it doubles for every success. So that's six by six. So centered here, you said. Okay. Which is why if you get a lot of successes, you're gonna engulf like an entire street. Actually. That's a good point. If you're standing there instead of pressing against the wall to the like point where you can see the cloud, cloud it's kind of hard to do so. Yep. But no, if you lean out myself into the wall then. Jackalore. Here's the fun part. You can create, aim to create a cloud of darkness here. However, the guy who currently holding a shotgun will take a shot at you. Because he'll be able to see you and fire at the enemy. Sure. <laughs> fire at my main body mass. No, no. Why would they aim for the head first? Because you killed two of his friends, you dick! Aiming for the head is a lot harder. Aiming, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a standard to aim for the main body mass. You killed one of his friends. Which is why you aim for the main body mass, so you hit him better. No, Jackalord, he wants to make sure you're dead. Like, you're making silly excuses for something that doesn't make sense. Wait, what are you talking about? What does it make sense? He's aiming for my head for no good reason. I uh, think that makes... No, no. That epic, makes quite honestly. Sense yeah, a... Uh, cop in a small town. A cowboy cop. He would shoot for the head when two of his friends get capped. I mean, look. You saw pieces of one of his friends on the, on the stairs there. Yes, he's not fucking around. He's oh, shooting sure. to kill you. So yes, I take two points of lethal damage. Yes, you do. Creating the cloud of darkness. Yeah. It's centered here, right? Yes. Like here. Yes, that's better. So like this, essentially. Yeah, like that. That's how big it is. He falls to his knees and starts choking as soon as the cloud hits. I'm walking over here then on my turn. Alright, fair enough. What do I see in this over here? Though, to be fair, you did not declare you were moving there, but I'll allow it. Yes, yeah, so that would be my declared, declared action. Okay. It's also, to say I also act at the same time as I declare, so... Yes, 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 yes. Uh, you see uh, three cops. Uh, one of them in the cloud choking, one of them somehow managing to stay on his feet but swaying slightly. Both of them are holding shotguns, as is the uh, third one, who isn't in the cloud. Looking at it with a sh look of absolute horror now. Uh, can I walk... Uh, can I attack, uh, attack him this turn? No. You that would was a lot of actions if you're asking. Like next for turn, that. on my next turn. Yes, you could. Turn. You could attack on the next turn and eviscerate him. Yes. We are now declaring for the next turn. So, cop here is gonna try and step back out of the cloud and shoot at whatever comes out of it. Because he. There's certainly something to be shot at since his friend already took a shot. Mm -hmm. And the. Cop here is gonna follow suit, but you will have the initiative advantage on them. Yes. So, like, step here and uh, attack, brawl, next brawl. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. As another cop just sees his <laughs> pieces of his friend <laughs> come flying out. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, currently, that's nine. Ah. Uh. I did not say say that I was activating. Sadly, I did not say that I was activating potence. You did not. Neither yes. did you say you were splitting, which would have made some sense. The fuck is this shit? He would it make sense for him to step outside the cloud and fire on Daniel at the same time because he's in point blank range? Also, he wouldn't be able to uh, see me in the cloud of darkness. He fire, but he is in the cloud, so he won't be able to distinguish more than what his location, more or less, was. 
Like so be, no blind fighting. Yeah, it would be a body shot and at plus two difficulty as per blind fighting. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see if he can manage to do anything. Uh, apparently yes. Huh. That's the wrong difficulty, by the way. No, uh, that should be the right one. Oh, whatever. Uh, for body shot, it is the right oh, difficulty. Yeah, yeah, sure. Plus yeah, two, true. minus two. Yeah. Okay, you take two points of bashing on top of the lethal. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> this shit. As he just fires in a panic, bloody slashes across his face and backs off. <laughs> this is bad. I'm ignoring wound penalties on my. Uh, uh, you should declare first, actually. <laughs> yes, I should. The two of them are gonna be ready to fire at anything that shows itself and they're gonna start backing towards the door. <laughs> I'm going to ignore. spend the point of willpower to ignore wound penalties and attempt to summon tentacles. Okay, something grabs you from beneath the couch. Oh my god, it's got me! It's got me, Bob! Oh god. <laughs> Seven. Okay, that cop is still choking. Oh shit. Yes. Uh, I would like to point out that he's just asphyxiating. He is not dying or anything like that. And he can still take shots and that kind of stuff. You sure? I'm pretty sure. I, like, move tentacles on them, so, two on this guy, for kicks. Basically, he just can't breathe and starts, you know, choking. That doesn't mean he's, you know, dead or stunned. Okay. In that case, fuck it, he's out the door. Oh, well, if that's the case, I, I was unaware of this happening. Yes, let's... Let's take a look. Arms of blah blah blah. Arms of the abyss. Uh, they require shadows. No, it's under the uh, shadow of night. That the uh, thing I'm looking for. <laughs> blah blah blah. Just goes to Asphyxiates the Asphyxiates per shadow place. So I need to look there. Blah blah blah. Begin to expiate, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. For fuck's sake. Yeah, it doesn't really go into it, and I've tried to look it before, but asphyxiating does not mean you immediately die. It just means you're no longer breathing. Also, does he start taking damage or something? No, he doesn't take damage. He's just not able to breathe in the darkness. We're gonna call it a self... Actually, no, we're gonna call it a wit self-control roll at nine. Because wits should play a part in this to see if he can manage to not choke to death. Because we That's have really high to not choke to death. Well, it's a really nasty cloud that disorients and chokes you. And we have in the past. He has zero, you have currently have zero stamina. If you have zero, sta if you have zero in a stat, in a stat, you bad things happen. I mean, the way I figured, the mortal was just fucked while trapped in it. Nope. Yeah, it's like from what I, uh, like if you have zero strength, you fall to the ground. If you have zero stamina, you probably bad. That's not. You're thinking Dungeons and Dragons, man. No, this I mean like seriously. Dark. Yeah. It's can you look actually, it up, Epic? Sure it's actually said somebody. Epic. Can you just look it up since the cop goes yeah. before Daniel anyway, and yeah, he it's, won't. It's very weird. So I'll go look up what the mortals in World of Darkness are affected by. Like he'd have multiple turns to start actually moving, so I'd be notice if I uh, if I actually needed to act, if I actually put the tentacle over there. So Daniel, he beats you on initiative. Yes. So on the first turn he moves, he gets to the door, possibly outside it, as it is within his range. Especially if the only thing he's doing is running. Yes. So yeah, go ahead and roll your attacks against these fuckers. Uh, da, 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 da. that's three D ten for tentacle number one, three D ten for tentacle number two. Butch, butch, butch. Fuck. Three D ten for tentacle number three, in order from top to bottom. Left, uh, left to right. Two of them hit essentially. 
top to bottom, left to right. Yeah, no. Uh, not that it matters since one of them is going to hit uh, hit the cop cop number X. Let's do on him. I figured you were going for the one that was closest to you, but okay, fine. Let's see if you manage to eviscerate them. Yeah. Especially as this guy's either dead for certain or just really, really. Uh I can, apparently I can't no that is not how I'm supposed to roll things that is not the damage currently it's a uh, roll it nine. correctly nope at least it's still grappled okay that uh, one of the cops is now dead okay and he's grappled yes. what you find anything uh, epic I'm still looking great well, we are, I figure, almost done anyway. We're uh, gonna... No, you guys just keep doing whatever. I'll look through stuff. Well, since we have ruled it that way in the past, we're just gonna assume that he fails. He's choking in the cloud, what do? As this cop desperately tries to free himself. Well, the tentacles would probably attack the nearest targets while I go over here. You decide what the tentacles do. You can just uh, restrain him if you want. I'm uh, sure. Kill, uh, rest kill him. Well, no, restrain him. Actually, no, one of the damage rolls fails completely, so it just yes. hits and it doesn't damage, right? Yes. Right. Okay, what do you do with that guy? Kill him? As well? I'll be... sure. Okay, roll for it then. Wow, that's so loud clicking. That is true. <laughs> Can we say that he dies automatically? Go ahead and roll damage as God wretches in uh, disgust at what you've just done and turns away from this world for one last time. Is that 13 dice of da uh, damage? Might be, I don't know. How many dice is that? It's six extra. Yes, that would be 13 plus one from Claus. It's a 12 plus one from Claus to be exact. Impress me. Doubt it. Hey, he d is dead. Yes, he is. He's he also salad. You just, no, you just reach one claw, punch it upwards under his ribcage into his chest, grip his heart in your claws and just shred it. And pull your yeah. hand out. Yay. So they got, that guy is restrained, right? Uh, no. He is very much dead. Because I need you to roll for tentacles. You already oh, yeah. ordered him damage. dead. No, that's not how we roll. That's not how we roll attack. This is the... This guy. This tentacle. Yes. Roll so damage. Because I don't think he has that much health left. Or he has some, but... Well, he's fast uh, Tentacle, uh, this tentacle would miss, and this tentacle not. The, the tentacles now do... do this, uh, does this guy have to... The one that's restraining him, does it have to roll again? Yes, uh, I think so. These okay. work weirdly. Okay, oh. both hits, so... Roll that's damage, that's... I th eight for both. Yes, I think so. Okay, and the second one? Yep, he gets shredded as well. As I... essentially one of them digs into his skull and the other into his body and it just his head gives way with a pop. Uh, by the way, can I drain his body while well, after I dismiss the tentacles and with his darkness. head ripped off? No, you really can't drain his body. They're all bleeding right. You shredded his heart, he's bleeding into his chest cavity. You can scavenge one point of blood from each of the three cops you just killed, but that's it. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm also leaving now after dismissing all the things. And trying to be stealthy while leaving. And okay. healing my... Uh, uh, yeah. Alright. <laughs> trying to be stealthy. I still have my six points of dexterity, right? Yes, you do. Uh, yeah. Six at seven, unless you wanted to be wits. Still. Do wits. 
because... Sure, so 5 at 7. That makes more sense. Definitely can see why it makes more sense. Okay. Good enough. Yay. I... Roll a luck die. In fact, roll two, but the first one is crap. The second one. Okay. You manage to sneak off. As you slowly hear in the distance a chopper approaching. Bloody murder. And so much for the fucking masquerade, eh? I'm just okay. gonna take up the hunter raid to full with that. Because this is so obviously supernatural that it's not even a question of if. They're coming. Yay! Well, I hope I can continue slaughtering everything in my path. That is so a hunter raid, I cannot even begin. And an FBI raid as well. Definitely. Let's hope they don't do it in tandem. Oh, bitch, they please. They might end up doing so anyway. This is how the FBI and Hunter partnership first started. Hun they kind of had a thing going on before anyway. No, they had a thing in Springfield in the future. No, no. Uh, there's hunters in the FBI, is what I'm saying. Shush you. Oh, okay. <laughs> But Hunter Net. <laughs> Cush you. Okay, Daniel, where do you go? Um, try to get back to the mansion. Stealthily. Okay, you a while later arrive at the manor. I'm not going into the back end, into the back end as it happens, it's like the front end is closer. Okay. Um, Satan, Andrew, everyone in the house, you hear a alarm go off. Eee wee <laughs> One of the butchers comes running round, out, screaming really pale, Vampire at the gates! Vampire at the gates! What's this? <laughs> Do you remember that your face is completely different now? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> it's also the face currently plastered on, like, uh, the most wanted. Nobody watches the news in a vampire haven. What the fuck are you talking about? That isn't a thing. Jesus. Okay, there we go. see my face. The first luck roll was to see if you got caught by a uh, dashboard cam. So many merits and flaws. I did do a complete success with stealth, so there is that. Yes, and it might be somewhat blurry, but... Uh, it would probably... Let's look at what is the flaw. How does it actually describe the flaw? You don't have a reflection. A digital camera would capture a blurry image, so you're probably okay. I doubt they'd be able to get anything out of it, is my, is my answer. Luckily for you, I get to make the determination. So not only did I get this complete success on my stealth roll. Let me take a look at what that looks like. At the same time, you had no idea that the cameras were there. Remember? I... As, uh, if you want to screw me over, you can. It's not my... my I have nothing... There's nothing in my power as, that I can do about it. This is ridiculous. For what? For fucking... Trying to find things that affect mortals. <laughs> Okay, let's play this out. It's... You hear one of your ghouls screaming out about a strange vampire at the front and there's a uh, siren going off in the uh, video observation room. <laughs> uh, something's going down. Ah, run around! Wait. I'm supposed to be in charge. 
crap. Katrina just casually walks up, stands by the front door, clutching a steak made from a broom, and starts buffing strength and obfuscated. Where'd you get that steak? She had it a while back, she tried to stab Daniel with it once already, remember? Oh. Mm. Take a step back from her. Knocks on the door. Go to the door. Andrew! Hello? Oh, right, Andrew Hello, isn't here. It's good to see you again. Through the door. We're not selling anything! Um. Daniel? I'm. We Daniel. have no Daniels here. They're down Daniel the Reed, road. You know, the La Sombra guy? The what guy that killed. I became a part of member of your pack, remember? <laughs> Roll your uh, insight. As Katrina says, It's fake! They're trying to get in, it's not Daniel! Kill him, kill him now! You see the threads of hatred towards Daniel that she has. And she attempts to cold bloodedly manipulate you into murdering him. Hey, hey, I know it's Daniel. We're having fun. We don't have Daniels here. You accepted any means of pack, goddammit. The pack? Sorry, we don't got wolves either. No pets allowed. Face bomb. <laughs> Let me take a look at Katrina's sheet and decide what she would do. You're the goddamn pack priest. Priests? No, we're not religious! <laughs> no! <laughs> I know you're a Malkavian, but could you please just let me come in already? Uh, 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 speak the password. We have a password? Fake! Yes, fake! <laughs> we, we, fake. The real Daniel would know the password. Nobody has told me the password, goddammit. <laughs> I was there when Satan told you the password. You or run. He hasn't there. told me any goddamn passwords, you fucking liar. Get away from here, you bum. You're not Daniel. <laughs> Daniel would not be... Daniel. It's not Daniel. The face is most definitely that, not, not that of Daniel. It's alright, I know it's Daniel. Actually, there, in Alexander's clothes, stands Alexander. At least, faced <laughs> Part of him is very similar to the improved version of Daniel that uh, Anton made. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> yes, it is nice to. S what did you say? Oh, um, bees and bugs. Did you have fun? Ah, uh, Katrina looks up and down. No, oh, hey! You're that, you're that guy who got dragged off to get tortured, aren't you? Um, no, I'm Daniel. Um, it's Daniel. What are you talking about? Oh! Oh, you look exactly like him. I hope nobody makes a mistake. She snickers. <laughs> did, did he have appearance of three? Yes, Daniel... Uh, no, uh, I didn't, uh, After he was modified and improved by Anton, I think he did. Oh my god. No, I had appearance of uh, four, I think, at, at that point. I had a base appearance of three. <laughs> there are a few minor differences, but they're hard to see. That looks very similar. <laughs> like, you can certainly pick them out easily enough if you have aspects and you have spent some time around Daniel. Or, sorry, Alexander. But, um. It's uncanny. Yay! You get to be two people at once! I don't Just know what, that what that um, Zimishi did to me. But I don't like it anymore. 
I mean, a condemned infernalist's face. I mean, that's nothing to worry about, right? Ah, goddammit. Yeah, tons of fun. Um, by the way... Oh, hey, have you guys seen the news? Ken comes down. Oh, that's him! That's fucking him! Uh, that's they wouldn't you. be able to see my face at that point. I don't oh, know. Man. I think they might be able to. If the cars were pointed at the door. And the luck dice did say they were. Really? <laughs> Let's... Let me think. We did say that digital cameras work, but that they are really blurry. However, Ken wouldn't know what the fuck La Sombra is. No, he just freezes there, open mouth, unsure what to say. He doesn't accuse you. The image hey, is blurry. It's Daniel! New and improved. New face. Apparently. Dad, uh. I I think he's the guy I just saw on the news. Someone someone like slaughtered a house full of cops. They say there was like shadow tentacles. They have recordings of of uh, the uh, cops uh, radio stuff. It it Yeah. That that's him. I'm willing to bet it. Wait. wait. Yeah, we Sh need to talk. Shadows uh, Shadows uh, aren't uh, a fucking yeah, Shadows aren't a fucking vampire thing though. Yeah they are. Not an... They are? Yes! We have superpowers! I... I thought people liked me because... I was me. Well, he, he... Everyone likes everyone because they are them. He just sh kanks his head and walks off. <laughs> By the way, uh, Priest, could we that. talk in private? Why? Hey, I'm standing right here! <laughs> I would like, there are things I would like to speak to you about that. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be the best for them. <laughs> Creations to hear. Childer. What the fuck did you just call me? He called you Child. awesome fluffykins. <laughs> Katrina just narrows her eyes. Almost in a snarl. Actually... Oh, you please leave, that'd be great. No, she's rolling for self-control at this point, I think. <laughs> because I think she's had enough of your bullshit. Let's see if she succeeds. Good so far. Oh! Okay. You see her eyes just widen. Nostrils flare, teeth clench and grind. Just this clench, just pure fury. You fucking little bitch! Did she actually say that? <laughs> she grinds it through her teeth. Just. I'm going to dominate her to leave. <laughs> roll for it. Uh, since you don't, you are not going to tell me the difficulty. I'm going to roll at six. Yes, please do. I'm a good judge of character. Can I tell he's doing this? Yes, you probably can. I would. It's uh, more of a. I'd like you uh, to not have to kill uh, the uh, pack priest child there because you know they frenzied. If I can tell, that's the reason. That's why. She turns around and starts going back up the stairs. Two fingers raised over her shoulder in a silent salute. And I slap him. <laughs> yes, I deserve that. <laughs> I'm probably not going to do much, but hey, giving it a try. <laughs> Are you going to actually roll the damage? Of course he is. <laughs> All right. Take the damage. <laughs> it stings a little bit. But yes, it's not I like... Due to my actions. But that yes. is not like one of Wolfgang's bitch slaps, is it? <laughs> now those were special. And he doesn't, he doesn't spend all... Uh, spend 
blood fruitless uh, fruitlessly hitting neonates for no good reason it's not fruitless it exerts its power right it demonstrates just how vast the gulf in years is right and the ability yes it was very great and grand and then york came in <laughs> <laughs> then he died <laughs> because he's a, he was a dick <laughs> That's pretty much elders. I mean, come on. Can you imagine what you would look like to other players if you are NPCs? Why do they keep breaking the masquerade? How stupid are they? How are they still alive? <laughs> Why do the elders like them? <laughs> to the other, other NPCs, we PCs are a crazy existence. Yeah, we are completely... We are complete anathema to everything that they are working for. But yeah, yes, I deserve that for my failures. To, uh, to ring, ring. Oh, no, no. You're getting worse for failures. That was for yelling at my child. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. You have a banana phone? I don't have a banana phone. Okay. Ring, ring. Pick up a phone. Oh, hello. I believe I traded a favor to you a while back in the form of a ritual. Oh, hello. Nice to see you, I think. Yes, uh, I'm gonna be calling it in. I have a Camarilla Toreador that uh, wants to see your nice town and needs an escort not to get stabbed. Oh, really? Oh, that's so cool. Please return her. Unbroken and, well, in working condition, after she is uh -huh. done. I'm going to assume I don't hear this. You hear this. Unless, well, yeah, you would be a... Well, Satan did not put it on speakerphone, did he? You just hear him go, ooh and ah. Okay. That's interesting. Please don't tell it to Camarilla. <laughs> yes, you... Might or might not know about this. The Toreador, they, they in particular sometimes arrange to, well, after making certain promises to, and trading in certain favors, to travel through Sabbat cities. And they are on occasion tolerated if they behave themselves. If you do kill her, please have a very, very good reason, as my reputation is on the line. Okay. Uh... Who who else is in? Who else has ears here? Just do as you're asked, you fucking Malkavian. Click. Call him back. Yes, yes. Now tell me who else is in the know. What about a Torridor? Yeah. Um, the... what do you call him, Archbishop? Well, that was Sombra dude, who was supposed to keep an eye on you. He knows. Alright. That's pretty much I'll, it. I'll do some double checking and uh, then, then we'll do this. Yes. Accepted. Mm-hmm. Fucking Malkavians, click. Yay! So, oh, did, he, did, did, did the conversation end? Yep. Yeah. I'll see if I can talk to the Archbishop. You're calling the Sombra? Yes. Okay. You have to wait a good three minutes before he answers. Yes, yes, what is it? Just checking. Uh, it has been requested uh, for me to escort a Toreador around, uh, around the city. Is this all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was mentioned last night. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay. Also, do you know what color this phone is? Eyes of Chaos? <laughs> because while this phone might be painted black on the mundane plane, on the metaphysical plane, Plane, it's painted very, very red. Could you could you not call it as if the world was burning down unless that's actually happening? I was studying. 
Oh, sorry. Is there another one? If I can, like, just leave messages or something, that'd be nice. Yes, please leave messages and he dictates you an email address. Alright, thank you. Have fun. That address which he checks once every two weeks. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Oh Christ, it's been that much already, I guess it's time I checked it again. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Oh, those got killed. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, they all died? Oh crap. Oh, uh, before, before we go, I suppose I will mention that, uh, we will be having visitors. Uh, the Ivory Tower is sending something affiliated with a library. Soon. Uh, not right now, but soon. It's on route. Okay. Good to know. Uh, what is your politics score? None. Daniel. None. So you... You would know that the Camarilla, Camarilla is the, uh, generally referred to as the Ivory Tower, when people are being fancy, but that's about it. I assume that that is common enough that he would know. It probably it is. But he does think that the one of the Camarol clans is called Gargamel, right? Gargamel. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be occult knowledge? Yeah, it would be. I'm fucking with you. So how do you react as he just tells you that um, Camarilla is coming over? Well, then we should prepare. Oh, I thought I was mentioning this on the phone before the hangout. Oh. No, no, he's already hung up at that point. I'll send the email to him real quick then. Okay. He's checking it right now. <laughs> well, that's what you think. Let's roll a log die. That's what he said he was doing. Did he? Yeah, that's what he just had him say. Uh, oh, no, that was me just faffing around, but okay, sure enough, let's see if he was lying to you. I would have known then. Either way, still send the message. Okay, he decides after a while that... Okay, shit, I... Daniel, what do you say? As uh... Satan is typing. Was it, who 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 called? And should I know about it? Uh, oh, we have been assigned uh, for one of our awesome little things. We will be escorting a Toriador around. Okay. No, no harm must come to them. Apparently, they. Or doing some contact bull trap or something. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, well, I guess. You said something about Camarilla. Like, uh, no. Did he say that? He said Ivory Tower and you can parse that into Camarilla. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You said Camarilla were coming over. Anything I should, I uh, should be take. Uh, anything you want me to care about? Uh, specifically, not so much. Apparently they're coming over and they're interested in what's going on. Oh, they're gonna try and take me. I think I should be, uh, I think I should be around you a lot more then. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. People without all specs cannot resist ambush attacks, right? They can? But generally, they have to actually be looking for it. Okay, so that's complete. It's much harder, is what I'm saying. Because all specs likes to do it passively while, you know. Otherwise, you have to actively be trying to find them. It's hard to know when they're there. That makes sense? Sure, let's see. Okay, Daniel, you are hit by two water balloons. You are utterly soaked. What is what the hell is going on? Katrina. 
Her obfuscate broken stands at the top of the stairway, grinning. Good job. And just raises two middle fingers at you and walks off like a boss. <sighs> yes, I wanted to talk to you about something else. Drip, drip, drip. Now the... Well, I was... Oh, uh, a guest. Let's say, let's say, I agree that I would bring uh, four shovel heads to the uh, to, uh, to the uh, to the other pack be, uh, as repayment, and it seems as if I was unable to create progeny. He just gave you a serious weakness, didn't he? <laughs> I yes. <laughs> I would like I would like to ask you if you could you know create the progeny for me uh, so I could give it to them since I kind of swore that I that I would uh, give it to them. <laughs> oh wait, I think I didn't add that thing for can because I haven't added that. Okay. You know, between friends. So what you're saying is you're asking for Major Boone. <laughs> uh, your phone rings, Satan. Pick it up. What? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's coming. I love your sense of timing. I really do. Now that is a red phone message! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm mixing up colors. I'm sorry. Fucking cool, Brian, the asshole. <laughs> Wait. Wait a second. Uh huh. Uh, on a completely unrelated note, I will be staying in your manor for a couple of nights. I hope you don't mind. Ooh, also, we have parties. You uh, want to join? Yeah, sure. Also, dibs. On what? The fucking Tremere. <gasps> oh, that's what's coming. That's a good idea. Oh, you fucking. Kevin bastard. I'll be right <laughs> over. <laughs> ah, well, welcome when you get here. <laughs> oh, so we'll have him over too. You well, have I no idea who called. Like you have no idea who called. <laughs> None. Okay. Who was that? Oh, he's a fun one. Uh, he 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 likes staying alone most of the time. You you'll enjoy him. Don't worry. <laughs> I guess it's even an important guest. He just yells uh, down from the tower. Can you kids keep it down? I'm trying to read here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, is he an important guest? Why are you asking these questions? Uh, because I would like to We know need to figure out what the heck is going to happen. I'm not giving you childs. Wonderful things. What? I'm just left alone in the world. Okay, I'll leave him alone with his books then. Sad, Daniel is sad. Now we're, go we're going to ask them. If, if we could get in contact real quick. I think it was three or four units of flaws. It was four? Four. Oh, crap. Flaws? I fucked it up then. Yay. What was? Thin blood. The uh, yeah, flaw. Thin blood's four. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, what do I up here? Sure. Let's go with those two abilities on Ken. And just give oh, an extra point. Clear sight was a three point merit, by the way. While I was reading through Hunter's stuff for a while. Yeah. Don't confuse me with other games. It's... 
Yeah. Well, Daniel, you could always ask one of the Thin Bloods. On average, you need, what, 20 bodies to ensure that you have four yeah, working yeah. ones? <laughs> nope, we're sending a text to Sally. Okay. What's go what's go what's going down? What what's with Daniel needing uh, children's childs? Yes, I see my name on this front apparently. Child are but and so I'd like Getting you to meet them so I could you know give them over to the other pack the guys with this with the the guys with the you know the at the at the head. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. No, no, I just sent the text. Yes. Everything I just said. She is calling you back. I'm... Pick it up. Should I pick up the phone? Hi! Hi. So, little Sombra pussy out, eh? He's terrible. Went running Good to deal. you. Are you sure he's not on humanity? I have no idea. He seems kind of... He says he's on the path of honor and I suppose that's possible. No, no. So what did you want? Just get him out of the deal? Ah, he still... He, de he, deserves, he deserves punishment. But uh, he does not appear to be able to complete this deal. Why not? Anything of an equivalent you, you want to send him on? Why not? Why can't he... It seems fairly simple. He's apparently terrible at it. If any of you see the news, he was on it. <laughs> Line, turn on the fucking TV! <laughs> yes, he's very, very stupid, apparently. Wait, how did he know I was on the news? Because uh... Kent told him. Yeah, just a little bit ago. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> so basically, I decided whether or not which one was worse to tell them. The actual reason for why you're terrible at this, or just using that as self-explanation. <laughs> oh, she says, um, all right, uh, here's the thing. Uh, being stupid is not an excuse. Honestly, if he's such a crappy vampire that he can grab a mortal, one by one, without causing a massacre and a big mess, that he doesn't deserve to survive as a member of the Sabbat in the first place, am I right? So, yeah, no. But he's useful. Then he's good at it. I don't mind giving him some time, but... You know, we really want to treat him. We could have all come over and wiped away your memories, pretended it never happened. We didn't. But we need something in return. We need to benefit from that powerful blood of his, right? Because apparently he's a badass. He's really strong. Yes, yes, I know. So, no, I, I don't think I do want to let him off the hook. I'd rather he try it again. I, I don't think he can do it. He just can't. It's impossible. It's, he's not subtle. He can't do it. Uh, Some more overt. Oh no, we don't really need anything else from him. How about this priest? I like you. You're a total fucking cunt, but I like you. So, as a favor between friends, hell, you could even call it a minor boon. I'll let him off the hook. But, do put him on. Eh, sure. Okay. I pick up the phone. Yes? Hi, Daniel. Well, well, I thought you were honorable. I have learned an important thing about you. It won't 
take any repercussion. There won't be any repercussions for you breaking your word to me. But I do consider it a broken promise, and I do hope you can sleep well a day knowing that. Also, well, also fuck you. And you may now roll for your path rating, because you have broken <laughs> your word by running to the priest and uh, trying to hide behind him. <laughs> nope. Nope, indeed. <laughs> It's a point of path rating. Oh, well, darn. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> I've murdered every single last one of them. <laughs> to so to be fair, you actually probably should have gotten that like twice because you did kill without reason. Not really. They had. Uh, they were had witnessed essentially. They had essentially witnessed me doing what I, what I was doing there, so yeah, that kind of is a good reason, in my opinion. He could have tried to wait for the... Actually, yes, roll again. That is a very good point, because you could have just tried to wait it out. Nope. Gone it was to... was death without reason. They did not, you know, they were not immediately threats or anything. So... Yeah, you could have uh, escaped out of the back of the, uh, you know... Corpse wagon. Easily. You had plenty of blood, plenty of health. You weren't in Anton's state, right? You could have just walked off then. Said you had to fight out. Hey, at least I wouldn't have to bother, bother with protecting my allies and placing personal concerns over duty. <laughs> yes, indeed. And on that fun note, let's divide up experience. Uh. So... What has Daniel learned? I was kind of hoping to go finish with the conversation there to figure out yeah, what... Yeah, I'd like to go finish this as well. Oh, well, if you want to uh, finish up uh, conversing with each other, uh, then uh, go ahead. It was actually with Sally. Uh, huh. Unless she just wanted to consider that just a small favor Yo. to be ca cashed in later. Uh, she did say that it was like a minor boon. Okay. Uh, well, I will... Uh, I will try and get the phone back from him before the conversation's completely over. Well, she hangs up, but you can certainly call her back, and, uh, if you wish. Yeah. I'll just send a quick text. I'm also just informing their pack of the same thing I sent to, uh, the Archbishop. Except I'm going to mention that, uh, the loner is also aware. Mm-hmm. Okay. It uh, comes back in quotes. Let's roll 1d10 to see. That's a 7. It says, in quotes, dibs. <laughs> Donald. Send back to Donald. Too late. Loner has dibs. <laughs> <laughs> I love how this is becoming. <laughs> it, like, he takes, so... he takes back. Well, shit, son. Fuck. It, it, it'll be fun. Uh, yay. <laughs> Send that as a text too. <laughs> Everyone's rubbing themselves, going, "Oh yeah, give me that sweet dramaturgy. Yeah, right there." <laughs> You know, you can you know what? learn it from the guy. While I'm do revealing all this stuff, uh, we'll be, uh, we'll also soon be escorting uh, Purple Rose. Loner has given uh, permission for Purple Rose in town. No attack. Sally calls back. I'm sorry we didn't quite catch that last part. It came out as gibberish because, well... Can you use people language, please, or at least stay close? The people language sucks! <sighs> Alright. Uh, Toreador has apparently opened some diplomatic discussion of some kind. 
and has I have been appointed as their escort through the city. Oh, dibs. <laughs> uh, not allowed to attack them. Tremere? The Tremere's coming in, though. And Loner has dibs. Okay. Okay. So, are you informing the other pack of any of this? By the way, uh, if you, you actually put me as, her, as the escort, I will fucking murder them if they attack her. Or him, whatever the Atolia girl is. You know those uh, crazy fuckers that live out in the copper mine? Told them maybe. Him? We're oh. not very close. Uh huh. Well, as long as they're informed. Okay. Oh, I do hope you don't hold it. Ag you know, I know how you can repay me um, that favor. Just let me know when that toy door is coming through, where, when she might be or he might be vulnerable and on their own. Little things like that. Uh, I'm guessing I can tell that it's uh, they're wanting to hunt them down. Yes, you can. <laughs> uh, no, I can't do that. So I owe, I owe a bigger favor to someone else, and this is repaying that. You yanked that La Sombra right out of our mouths. It just rude. You even I yanked know. out any children he could have made. If you want, I can see about uh, possibly doing something else. You're a real cunt. All right. Um, can you just... I don't know. I did say that the Toridor was coming over. Donald's wanted to eat a... Or, sorry, a Tremere, yes. Donald's wanted to eat a Tremere for a very long time. Could you perhaps yeah. arrange something? Please. I can at the very least inform you of where it is. I'm just informing you also that uh, the Archbishop had dibs too. If you want, we could arrange to have that part of your conversation with the Archbishop erased. Why would I want that? All the better to lie with. I mean, sorry, I, of course I would never suggest such a thing. I don't really care. It's up to you if you want to go against his dibs. You do know that he's officially not the Archbishop, right? I know many things. Good, good. A lot of things. I'm glad. I'm glad we can talk like this. Without any of the bullshit, right? I just like talking with bullshit. I know. Stop making me talk like normal people. Okay, okay, give me a second. Okay, tell the Shadow Weaver that if his shadow falls on our domain one more time, he's gonna be a crunchy little shadow. <gasps> I will definitely inform him that the light is coming. Wait, no, the light is there. Uh, Click. The phone just goes dead as you keep talking to yourself. <laughs> the webs will weave. All right, awesome. Conversation is now over. <laughs> Daniel, meanwhile, is just has been looking impatiently at you. Yeah, what you want? Uh, so that's it. You arranged it. Done. Also, if we're supposed to escort this person, how? Who's going to do that? Uh, us. Both of us. All of us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to, t out of character, you're not going to tell me that they just threatened my life? No, he's just gonna let you I walk in there. 
<laughs> he's just gonna let you walk into that territory and get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Not at this moment, I'm going, no. I'm planning to mention it in casual conversation at some point. So, <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> by... we're walking through their uh, their, uh, their home their area. By the way, you're not supposed to be here. They're going to eat you. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> hey, look, it's exactly what this uh, bastard would do. <laughs> I mean, clearly you have to choose because all your children hate him. Obviously. It was the wall, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, now we can do XP. Okay, Daniel, what have you learned about perhaps your party members? <laughs> I've learned that all his child are incredibly... do not know how to properly treat someone that... Uh, uh, probably treats a, mem a real mem a real member of the Sabbat. So they're all disrespectful. Good, Satan. What have you learned? I have learned that Daniel is surprisingly idiotic. Almost like so many other characters we have known under various names with various levels of intelligence, but the same. Shut up already. <laughs> <laughs> same shared spirit, even. So, almost like they were brothers in some strange way. <laughs> Animated by the same divine purpose. Almost... <laughs> okay, fuck it. Okay, moments of epicness. Uh, I want to say Daniel, and I don't want to say Daniel at the same time. Does this make sense? <laughs> You know, managing to cause so much trouble and burn two points of bad rating in a single night like this. That, that is special, I have to admit. It is very special. And it is very special in both ways. <laughs> and you're both being utter dicks right now. <laughs> managing! for somebody that can be surprisingly dumb when they are surprisingly smart. I mean... Even just managing to almost whelp your character like that to your fucking allies. I mean, that's impressive. That I thing's doing. Meant to be more like allies and less like, oh, let's kill everyone that we meet. Even in Camarilla, someone coming completely unknown and unannounced into your thirty is cause for stability. Remember yeah, how it is kind because... of hard to you know t talk to them if you have no way of talking to them. Remember how Nietzsche's. Thin Blood Malkavian died. He went down into a sewer to yap with an Osferatu. Yes, and he had no good reason to be that. I was actually. And you had no good him. reason to be in their territory. I'm glad you understand. You could have asked the Malkavian. That's why priests exist to help facilitate communication, for fuck's sake. They're, the priests are literally how you go about doing more official functions. That is their point. That is why they exist. Now, Malkavian priest, of course, makes things a little more crazy and a little bit funner. But still, that is the Depends point. Depends on your, uh, your definition of fun. I don't know. I had fun. I had fun. <laughs> I had loads of fun, in fact. Good times, in fact. Really good times. Yeah, me too. No, <laughs> seriously. It was great. <laughs> Ah, you bastard, you poor fucking bastard. <laughs> Luckily, you still have that Zumitsi that can rearrange your face so you're not on all the... Oh, wait. Look, we're just hoping that we get a Zumitsi Tremere. <laughs> That's apparently our goal in life. I did have one in the Springfield campaign. It died! <laughs> Yeah, that's what I could just learn, <laughs> learn the vicissitude by eating someone. Does Sally have enough vicissitude for that? Yes, she does. I'm sure you wouldn't, though. That would be wrong. No, I wouldn't, of course. Not, of course, if she attacks me. No. Never. Ah, Zulu form with her... Her, uh, bonecraft? I don't know. 
you would probably have the advantage there, but I wouldn't say it's a 100% thing in a one-on-one. -on -one. It really depends on who, if I get my, can get my Cloud of Darkness large enough that I can hide from her. Also, keep in mind she would have aspects, so she would be able to pinpoint your general location. True. She still have, uh, she'd still have to roll at 8. She would... With or plus 2 difficulty, to be exact. With Fleshcraft, no, or with Bonecraft, she wouldn't. She would need to make a Dex Brawl check to see if she managed to hit you at all. But once she grabbed hold, she could just start ripping at the normal difficulty. But, yeah, she probably would miss an attack or two that would normally hit. It, it depends. Keep in mm. mind, though, that she is built to have allies around her, right? And Satan was built for a one-shot. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. There was no point in any of his stuff besides just trying to get the Malkavian stuff as insane as I could get it. Ah, uh, by the way, if somehow through all the chaos and everyone trying to eat everything they can get their hands on, you manage to bring the Torador alive, I will let you add that Nosferatu uh, information broker to your contacts list, Satan. Sweet! But epicness, 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 I don't know. I'm Again, I am so torn on two different fronts here. I didn't feel like I was, you know, especially epic. I was certainly doing quite a bit of stuff in character, I felt like, but not particularly epic. For roleplay, yes. For fucking Daniel, with people and... on the other hand, was doing epic things. It was just... <laughs> <laughs> the fail was so hard on that sometimes. The fail was so hard that the awesomeness was kind of mitigated. <laughs> the angel weeps at your stupidity. Wait, what? I'm glad we killed all those. <laughs> or at least all those in the mansion. <laughs> you come outside as you after you wake up, you see a Tremere holding his troll standing over the graveyard with a what the fuck now <laughs> look on their face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you... You know what? I'm not putting my vote in for anyone on the epic point. Whoever it's gets it. SD, do you award me or not? Yeah. I'm... Frankly, I'm torn between all three of you. Including Macon. Because... He acted like an erratic fuck, right? But in his own way, even though it comes from a derp, he's acting like someone deeply traumatized and uh, confused by being turned into a vampire and tossed into this as well. Uh, the thing is, it seems he's not doing that as a vampire, but more as someone deeply confused from returning from war in a very recent state. Hmm, that too, I suppose. That too. I'm not saying so much confusion about being a vampire so much as being a normal human being. That's still technically roleplay as well. Well, shit. But, it's... but I, I kind of figured that uh, one of his experience points was almost certainly negated for, well, not being here most of the session, basically. Hmm. Well, yeah. Maybe we should start doing that. I have been extremely generous with uh, that sort of stuff. Crap, I honestly don't know. Well, sometimes we award an extra point, right? How about this time we say uh, nobody stands out as particularly awesome? Yep, as I said, I felt Zane was the most for character, in character, roleplay stuff. That was fun. Uh, mm. But besides that, the, he didn't do much. Also, 
One last thing, Daniel, if you wish, you may change your nature to sociopath at this point. <laughs> that will turn out great with your <laughs> Yes, I believe in honorable accord, but I love to caress bodies. Dead ones. Fresh ones. Anyway, on that note, let's end the recording. <laughs> <laughs>